I'm going to do a quick comparison between these two Bibles, the Thomas Nelson and the Holman King James Study Bible. The Thomas Nelson is a hardback, but it also comes in leather. This uh, Holman one is a imitation saddle brown leather touch. And they both have full color illustrations as an introduction to each book. The Thomas Nelson has an outline of each book with these nice graphics. It's got the commentaries on the bottom and the subject studies on the bottom. I really like the the uh, illustrations in this Thomas Nelson. The the letters are a little bit darker. Like look at that illustration. I really like these ones. And the uh, Holman has a full page illustration on the front of each book with the maps and all that. I really like the illustrations in this one too though. I think the commentary is a little bit lighter and smaller which could be harder to read in the Holman and there's the full page illustration the Holman has this little timeline at the beginning of the books which the Thomas Nelson doesn't have but the Thomas Nelson I think it has a little bit better of a breakdown of each book and uh, the historical background which is pretty cool it also has a little bar in the middle that has your annotation, cross-references, and uh, character profiles on the bottom, and historical and cultural studies. Just lots of little information. The back of the Holman Bible starts off with your weights and measures, and pretty much just a normal Bible dictionary. And that's about it. There's a little bit of space for some notes, and uh, like your maps in the very back. In this case, I think the Nelson has more resources as far as in the back of the Bible. It starts off with the topical index and has uh, teachings of Jesus and the parables, a miracle index, and even has an index of Paul's teachings. So it's pretty thorough with all the indexes on the back. It has uh, messianic prophecies, end time prophecies, everything. It's pretty much all in order right there. It has your concordance in the back, and then uh, annotational index, and then all your maps in the very, very back. I haven't read all the commentary in the Holman Bible yet because I just got it on uh, Amazon. I think the full leather version is like $80, but I got this one for like 50 But uh, as far as the commentary and uh, Thomas Nelson, this is pretty good, man. And uh, I think the Thomas Nelson is a little bit thicker. Uh, so I'll probably just use the Holman for like when I'm on the go because it's a little less cumbersome but I you know I, I think they're both pretty pretty awesome Bibles I couldn't really recommend one more than the other it's just pretty much up to preference but they're both pretty good there's your little features section but I would recommend both of them man go check them out